we don't need roads. Cool. Hi. Jake Hamilton. Good day, Chicago. Hi, guys. Uh, oh, my God. I love you so much. And I love this movie. And I got to see it. I saw it in a theater by myself. And I just ugly cried to the point where the projector had to pop his head in and go, are you OK? Like, that's <laughs> I absolutely love it. So seriously, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Oh, that's pleasure. Pleasure. Thank you. So, because this is such a personal film for Kenneth Branagh, I'm curious how that affected how you would approach him and ask questions about your characters. To what degree are you asking him questions about characters you're playing in a movie? And to what degree are you kind of asking questions about his parents and his personal life? Um, you know, I think in some ways, you know, very early on, we all had a conversation about Ken sat us in a room and sort of asked us about our families, our childhoods, our grandparents, and he shared stories of his as well. So, you know, I don't think he wanted us to do a sort of documentary on his parents. I think he wanted us to bring a lot of our own lives and our own experiences to the roles. But, you know, it was great having him as a resource because at any point you could just be like, you know, what did your parents do or whatever? And so, and he's just such a generous, uh, director and and just as a person he was so generous with his stories and sharing his experiences with us um, but I think it's a bit of a a mix of of all things yeah I mean just having that access to him is like such a treat you know but he just entrusted us for some unknown reason to <laughs> to you know bring yeah our own experiences to the characters and, and let us flesh them out in our own way beyond what he was telling us which is great and you absolutely did. So this next question might be the stupidest question that I've ever asked, but I'm going to ask it anyway. I, I want to talk about you guys. I know it's a good way to start. I want to talk about filming in black and white because this is the one of the most beautiful films I've ever seen in my entire life. When you as actors know that you're being filmed in black and white, does it feel any different on set? Is there any part of you that sees a moment differently or am I just completely ridiculously off base? I don't think as actors you do. I think, you know, as actors you're you're sort of in the scene with people and, and you can't really be thinking too much about what the image is looking like. Um, I definitely think the experience of watching the film is different um, afterwards, but no, I, I think I was just excited. I'd, I'd never shot anything, um, a project in black and white before, and I, I love watching movies that are in black and white. So I was just sort of more excited about how it was gonna look visually rather than thinking about it while you're in the process of filming. And often with the monitor, it wasn't in black and white. You know, remember they yeah, often had they had to like change it into black and white. But sometimes yeah. you'd see the image and it was in color, and you know, and actually by the time you know, I, it, it sort of they weren't totally hundred percent married to that choice, were they? Until um, am I allowed to say? That? <laughs> oh, really? That's okay. That's interesting. <laughs> uh, anyway, but, well, as we wrap up, I, I honestly, I rarely ask specific questions about specific moments in the movie, but I have to talk about what is one of my favorite moments of any movie in a very long time, which is Jamie's performance of Everlasting Love. I actually have not stopped playing it on my phone. I've been walking around the streets of Chicago just listening to it. There's such a connection between the two of you in that moment. I was wondering if you could just talk to me about filming that and what that moment meant to you, just in terms of what these two characters are saying to each other in that moment, because that is one of the most beautiful, intimate moments I think I've ever seen. Well, thank you for saying that. Um, the first time I met Katrina was for a dance rehearsal for that very song. <laughs> so, you know, we had been like bound by this piece of music from day one. And, uh, and it was a, f a little bit into the shoot by the time we actually shot it. So there'd been so much sort of impetus on that day. And uh, we were scared. I mean, yeah, you know, that, having that's, to a, perform. that's a connection of fear. Uh, that's exactly right, <laughs> you know. Um, but also, it's such a beautiful moment between the characters. And, you know, uh, I was luckily I recorded my vocal after, so I only had to lip sync on the day, which was much uh, one less thing, I guess, to think about. Um, but it was, it, it felt like a special moment. You know, we had so many of the cast there together. And, I was just getting so much from this one that day. Like I just remember every time looking out and Katrina was just like giving me everything I would need and more back. So making my job much, much easier. So um, I'm glad it's resonated with people the way it has. 
It absolutely has. Guys, seriously, the movie is absolutely beautiful. I love both you guys, and I know you have a very busy day. I appreciate you fitting me into your schedule. Thank you so, so much. Oh, thank, thank you, you very much. All right, yeah. Thank you, guys. Have a good one. Thank you. Well, we're going, we don't need roads.